do 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 Ow! English with architecture in Helsinki. The track is like it or not. Before we listen, like it or not is a really, really good expression. If you tell someone or if you say this, like it or not, you know, something is going to happen or you will do something. It means you have no choice. You have no say in the matter. You either have to do something or or like you can't do something. So like it or not, we're going to listen to this track. We're going to make, I'm going to try to help you make your English better. So let's listen to it. Like it or not, let's go. Okay. That doesn't mean anything. Maybe it does. If you think it means something, oh, let me know. Let's get back to this track. Okay. Mum is the lyric here. Mum, we don't really use this in the U.S., probably not in Canada either. Maybe joking or being sarcastic, being goofy. It's much more British, Australian, New Zealand. Not in the U.S., though. It just means we'd say mom. Hey, mum. I think mum's the word. Is that an expression? Not here. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. All right. And just to be sure, do you want to ride? Well, we'll tell you something about Christmas time when it's hot. Hot. And just to be sure, do you want to ride? Do you want to ride is a good expression. And here it's, it's basically saying, like, you're invited. Are you sure you want to come along? Because if you say, do you want to ride? It means, like, are you game? Are you sure you want to do something? Are you sure you want to come along? So it's a really good expression. Uh, the next one is, let me tell you something about Christmas time when it's hot. Th- this doesn't mean anything. I think it's because this band comes from Australia where it's, it's quite hot. So even in, you know, in winter around Christmas time, it's not cold like it is here. In Wisconsin. You get what I'm saying? Let's keep going with this song. Okay, when we were cornered, if you are cornered by someone, maybe even by a a situation, like a, a bad one, it means you're surrounded, you're in danger, uh, because of, of someone, typically like a, a group of people, or maybe like you're, you're backed into a corner. Typically that, that can be like a person, you know, maybe like someone with a knife trying to mug you or, or a bad situation like the COVID. COVID has backed us all into a corner. It means we're facing a, a difficult time. And then he says, I kept you from my reaches. If something is, is out of reach, it means you, you're unable to get it. So if something is kept from your reach, it's the same thing. And here it just sounds like a, a more goofy way, especially, you know, you, you've, you've heard the, the beginning of this track so far. It's, it's kind of goofy. And that's why I like it so much. Uh, let's keep going here. Do you like it or not? And here we have, do you like it or not? Now, when you ask a question, if he just simply asked, do you like it? It's just, you know, because of curiosity. You're asking someone, you know, do you like the song? Personally, I love it. Uh, But then if you add that or not, it sounds much, much stronger. And there's also, I think, very often the sense that you're assuming the other person doesn't like it. That's why you're adding that. Do you like it or not? Maybe even a bit of frustration. So maybe we're listening to this track you don't look like you're interested. So I'm like, yo, do do you like it or not? It means I kind of assume that you don't. But if I just said, do you like it? It's just because I'm curious. I'd like to know. So there's quite a bit of a difference there. Now you know. All right. All right, he says, I'm changing all your pills to vitamins. I, I don't know what that means, really. But a pill, you know, just a, a little capsule of medicine that you take to feel better. A vitamin is more of a supplement. You know, there's like different types of vitamins. Vitamins you get from, 
you know, meat, poultry, uh, 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 what am I looking for here? Vegetables and fruits. So you take a pill, you also take a vitamin. And they're usually in some type of small capsule form. All right. And then he says, I'm e you got me eating from your hand. If someone has you eating from your hand, or if, you're, if, if someone is eating out of your hand, it means they are under your control. They have lost all power. You have all the influence. So here, you got me eating from your hand. He's saying whoever his partner is, whoever he's, he's singing about in this song, uh, he's, he's doing whatever they want. Like he's lost all control in this relationship. And he says, girl, we're locked. We don't say this, at least in the U.S., but what it's saying is, you know, we have a really close, really, really tight relationship. We're locked together. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, round about 10. More commonly, you'll just hear round about and then the time. Notice here that the A in a round is gone. So it's just round. Like if, if you're saying like spheris, <laughs> spherical, like a circle. So we lost the A, but it still means around. Round and then about kind of just makes it sound more conversational, more idiomatic and more like spoken English. Round about and then the time. So I'll see you round about six, right? Okay. Let's keep going here. <laughs> Again, that doesn't mean anything, but probably my, pa my favorite, my favorite part of the song. Alright, in a bid to scare. Here we're looking at in a bid to do something. If you do something in a bid to do something else, it mean, just means you're attempting to do something. But I think there's very often the idea that maybe you're unsuccessful or like there was an attempt to do it and maybe you failed. You could still succeed, but I think we very often hear this when someone tried to do something in order to do something else and they failed. So maybe like uh, in a bid to get a lot of quick money, he tried to organize a pyramid scheme. So it, it didn't work. In a bid to do something, you know, it, it's, it's not a good idea. But it, it can also be used if it does succeed, but I would say maybe less common. There's kind of the connotation that you fail. Okay? Okay. Do you like, like it or not? not? And then very often if you, this is, this is not part of the song, but if you're trying to be sarcastic or ironic, you can just add not. This kind of uh, became, or it was used a lot in those Borat movies, not. It's just a way to be sarcastic, to be like, no, I'm just kidding, basically is what you're saying there. So not. All right, and we'll end with that one. There's never been a knife that cuts me half as deep as you. If if something cuts deep, it just means that it's very impactful, uh, strong. So you could say, oh, that movie just really cut me deep. It means it, it impacted you in some way, emotionally, probably. Mostly, mostly we're talking about emotions with this one. So if the song might cut deep with you, it means that you really like it. There's kind of a connection. Maybe uh, someone said something mean and it really cut deep. What that means is that, you know, it, it really affected you in a negative way. So maybe if someone, you know, insulted you or swore at you or something like that, that can also cut deep, but in a very negative way. And that's, the, that's today's song. So definitely check it out. There are links under the video if you listen on Spotify, uh, Amazon, or Apple. Leave any comments or questions you have. If you want to write some examples, I'll try to leave some comments on those too. Uh, so definitely check out Architecture in Helsinki. What a band. All right. 
Great talking to you.